Hi, uh, my name is Kiran and I'm a tutor at Center for Tutoring and today I'm going to talk about sampling distribution. Uh, well, let's start with the distribution for population. For the population, if we take all the individual values from population and write uh, on the curve, the, we'll get a normal distribution like this with mean mu and the standard deviation as sigma but in practically po uh, practical situation it's not possible to get all the individual values from population so we will take a sample from this same population with size n now this will be a simple random sample and we, we plot all the individual values from this sample on the curve and we'll, we should get a normal distribution with mean x bar in the center and standard deviation as s now these values might be different from the population mean mu and population standard deviation sigma but using the sample mean x bar we can make an estimate of population mean mu now let's consider taking various samples uh, let's take first sample with mean x bar 1 second sample from the same population with mean x2 bar, third sample with mean x3 bar, and like that, hundreds of samples, each with samples as n, and let's plot all these sample means on this curve. Now, uh, considering each sample mean as individual value, the distribution we get will be called sampling distribution, and the mean of this di distribution will be mu, which is same as population mean but the standard deviation which was sigma for population distribution will not be same here in fact it will be smaller being sigma over square root of n where n being the sample size of each sample now if we compare the population distribution with the sampling distribution the outer one is the population distribution with mean mu and standard deviation as sigma while the inner red one with less variation will be for the sampling distribution mean being the same and standard deviation being shorter as in sigma over square root of n. So I hope that clarifies some doubts. Thank you.